Still riding the high from yesterday's comeback walk-off win. The Nationals look to take a series from the Houston Astros here today. It's a rubber game between the Nats and the Astros. Well, Mitchell Parker, second start of his career. Fantastic in L.A. Jose Altuve stands in to lead off the game for the Astros. And the pitch, swing and a miss. Down he goes on the splitter. And so a very good start for Mitchell Parker. It looked like he had Altuve fooled there. He was off stride, just kind of waved at that one. Well, he'll have to be good against this guy. Jordan Alvarez is hitting 438 against left-handers this year. Strike three, we heard Nate Tomlinson say. Two up, two down. One swinging, one taking. Three, two, lefty. What a beauty. Swing and he rolls the breaking ball slowly right side. Charging in Garcia has it. Underhand flip to Manessis and the inning is over. Very strong start for left-hander Mitchell Parker. And 25-year-old Hunter Brown, a last-second replacement as the Astros scratched Christian Javier a couple of hours ago. Some discomfort in his neck. He's on the 15-day IL. So their rising star, the shortstop C.J. Abrams, just 23 years old. Only Shohei Otani has more extra base hits now in the National League than C.J. To center. He's going to settle for a measly single this time. And C.J. has his third, fourth base hit of this, a third of this series. But Abrams, because he's had so many extra base hits, he's only stolen three bases in four tries. He's got a lean. Looks like a good jump. No chance. And for CJ, first in a while, and his fourth of the year. Two and two on Winker with Thomas on deck. Nationals trying to get on the board first here in the bottom of the first inning. Winker's going to drop Great it in the left. What a read by CJ Abrams. He will score, and the Nats are on top immediately. The running game pays off. Well, an inning with a couple of jam shots, and Brown's got to be frustrated. You we, we, we went down the numbers, how many hits he's given up. A pair of bleeders with a stolen base in the middle, and he's down a run. So Brown issues the walk to Thomas, and the Nationals have two men on with nobody out here in the first. 2-2. Two -two. No, that's a balk. That's a balk. So it's not going to be a steal. It'll be a yeah. balk as Winker going to third caused Brown to balk, and that'll move Elaine Thomas to second base. Just a little bit caught off guard. There's a little panic. You see the buckle in the back knee. Now you got to take advantage. Big, big opportunity here. And Garcia with a base hit up the middle. Winker scores. Thomas being sent. The throw is on line and late into second base. Luis Garcia. The running Nets are on top by three. Nice job by Louis. The patience to get to this count, not to chase. He just slices that thing. I mean, that, that is just beautiful. That's taking advantage of that big, big mistake that they got right there. So Chaz McCormick now four for eight in the series as the first Astros base runner of the afternoon. Two out single. Fastball pulled on the ground on the right side. Up with it is Garcia. The underhand toss to Joy Manessis. It's a scoreless inning for Mitchell Parker. He gives up his first hit. And Hunter picks up his second strikeout, getting the designated hitter for the first out here in the second. As Hunter Brown all of a sudden locking it down, that's five straight retired, including three strikeouts. That was just power fastball there. How about Hunter Brown? Do he it. bounces back after a really struggle first inning, and he uses just 13 pitches here in the second. As he strikes out the side, getting Senzel, Young, and Abrams in the second. And Lane Thomas has 10 stolen bases oh, wow. in 11 attempts already. Well, the, the leadoff guy keeps hitting doubles. That's doubles it. And <laughs> so he's not stealing these days. Uh, Towards short, Payne is going to make the play to third, and they have the lead runner out. That's a nice play by Jeremy Pena. Quick and decisive decision to go to third base to get Lane Thomas the lead runner. Head first slide by Garcia. He swipes second. It's the third steal for the Nationals already. So, you know, they just lost a runner in scoring position. They get it back. There goes the runner again, swing and a miss. That'll do it for the Nationals in the third inning. Vanessa strikes out. A walk, one man left on base. We head to the fourth, 3 0 Washington. Jordan sends one to center field, pretty deep. Back on it goes Jacob Young, and he makes the play on the warning track. One of the better struck baseballs of the day against Parker, one away in the fourth. And another one. Lifted deep and Lane Thomas back to ground. Good play. So the Astros a little better contact here in inning four, second time around, but 
two long outs. That was a really nice play, too, by Thomas going back. Meanwhile, the Mitchell Parker show continues to go on here. The young man pitching very well. There's a ground ball to third. All right, watch this. We got a little thing on the screen that you can watch as we go to break here. This is yesterday. It's time for Nationals baseball. Play ball. Mitchell Parker with a splitter and strikeout number three is first since the first inning. What do you think of this guy so far? It's unbelievable. Look at this Mitchell Parker. Another strikeout, number four on the day. He's now pitched 10 innings in the big leagues, and only the Dodgers have touched him for any runs. And the first two Nationals have reached in the bottom of the fifth. I want to get somebody up in the bullpen. It doesn't look like Dubin's able to repeat his delivery today. It's two away. Runners have to retreat. So now Luis Garcia Jr. stands in. He drove in two with a single in the first. And he's going to go that shortstop way again, keeping it on the ground and on the infield. Pena. And that might have kept the very speedy Jacob Young from scoring. So the Nats will load him up with two outs. Infield hit all the way. Joey Manessas is next. Oh, look where Joey puts it. Here comes Young. Here comes Abrams. And the Nats are on top. Five nothing. Joey Manessas starting to collect some hits. And his second and third RBIs of this series. And he got a foul tip for the strikeout. Number five for Mitchell Parker. And he's fanned Altuve swinging twice. And Jordan is thrown out for the second out. Caratini back to second base. Looks like the catcher setting up away here. And he follows it up with a fastball to the outer half. Blue pit, wild pitch, not a problem for Mitchell Parker, who's looking as good as anybody on the Nats staff right now. Scott, the right-hander, works third base side of the rubber. He'll be greeted by Nick Senzel. And that ball's well hit to left by Nick Senzel. See you later. First as a net on his fourth base hit. And it's 6 nothing Washington. 100 miles an hour off the bat, Nick Senzel, welcome. That's how you do it. Hit a career high 13 for the Reds last year while driving in 42. And that's his 30th career home run. Oh, good play by Vargas. A swinging bunt up the third base line. Manessas had a good long stretch. And they get Brakeman for out number one. Swing and a miss. He struck him out with a splitter. Strikeout number seven for Mitchell Parker, adding to his career high total in his second big league start. Oh. Nothing but strikes or pitches that look like strikes until it's too late. The windup, the 0-2 delivery. Swing and a miss. He struck him out on a high fastball. Eight strikeouts in seven shutout innings for this rookie, Mitchell Parker. Unbelievable what he's doing. So here's Matt Barnes to try to finish this thing off. The last hit Houston had was a leadoff bloop to right by Victor Caratini in the sixth inning. In the air to right, Lane Thomas. Outs just keep on coming. Jordan picks up a base hit right here. Only the fourth hit in this game for the Astros. Oh, strike three call. Took a second, two down. And now one more chance to boo Alex Bregman. I mean, what else can go right for our fans? One hopper, Vargas over to first, and the Nets win another series. Two out of three at Dodger Stadium against a really good lineup, and pretty much the same here this weekend against Houston.